Executive was with CPI Security and Vivint Smart Home met in a Charlotte federal courtroom earlier today. A judge listening to several motions regarding an ongoing lawsuit between the two security companies. In the suit, CPI accuses Vivint of lying to customers in order to steal their business. They're seeking $50 million in damages, and execs with Vivint are denying all claims of misconduct. Queen City News Chief Legal Correspondent Seema Iyer was inside the federal courtroom today as both sides argued over evidence as this high stakes trial is set to begin on February 14th. Seema, from the sound of the looks of the lawsuit, it sounds like CPI has a strong case against Vivid here, but today it kind of revealed a few holes in her case. What have you learned? That's right. And good evening, my Queen City News anchors. So I learned a lot today. It was certainly illuminating in court. So first of all, when I read the complaint, I thought there were thousands of complaints by CPI customers. But in fact, there have only been seven people deposed expected to testify at trial, which is a stark difference than what I expected. Furthermore, I was thinking that there were these nefarious corporate espionage types knocking on doors, stealing customers. But no, Vivin says the people who work there, they're just regular college students going door to door. Another uh, perhaps surprising bit of information is that at least Vivint is saying that CPI's entire theory of the case is a tip of the iceberg and they are going to ask this jury to speculate that there was more damage than there in fact was. And finally, I was looking at the complaint. I was trying to get like a timeline of when the allegations occurred and I even spoke to the lawyers and they're really not giving me a certain date. They're saying that this was filed in August of 2020 so they'll be evidence from about four years prior to that, Brian. All right, and Seema, it seems like when most trials, when experts testify, whether it's a doctor, a historian, or engineer, they're experts in their field. No one yeah. tries to keep them out of the courtroom, but most of today's hearing was spent with Vivid trying to exclude two of CPI's experts. Why? Also shocking. Okay, so let me just give you a little lesson. When an expert testifies, they have to be regularly accepted in their field. For instance, if you have a cardiologist testify, they have to be accepted in the medical field. You get it. So one of the witnesses that they wanted to testify was a marketing expert. And this person has been accepted by other courts, but he's been precluded by one. And then they're the other expert that caused a lot more controversy. This guy is a PhD slash economist. He's supposed to testify about something called forced royalties. Now, we know what royalties are, right, in music and TV, but this guy is supposed to testify about, well, if you're going to use our name, you have to pay for it. And uh, his whole bottom line is, I'm the only person who's ever known anything about this. So, Brian, I'm going to let you confer with your co-counsel, Alicia, and you tell me, <laughs> is the judge letting these guys testify? I want you to answer for me, please. Well, I, I was going to ask you that, whether, whether these experts can <laughs> testify here or not. You're the legal expert who is in court today. Okay. <laughs> Okay, well, I'll tell you. Yes, the judge ruled. So basically, the marketing expert is going to be allowed to testify, but the economist is out. The judge noted that the economist, his testimony would be too novel, too new. It's never been tested. And finally, the judge said rejection of an expert is the exception, not the rule. Now, February 14th, still on for trial, and Queen City News will have you covered. Gavel to gavel. I know you Guys. will, and it's always a, an interesting case, especially in the jockeying before you go to trial with some of these things that happen it for is. these pre-trial motions and things like that. It's always interesting to watch, and you'll keep covering it for sure. Seema, thanks.